Welcome back. This is part three of how to make an iPod poster. So we have Mr. Fiesel outlined very nicely, but we have a couple of areas where there's some problems, mainly right here around his ear and right here between his arm and his body. We didn't get that cut out quite right. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix that later with a mask. However, the ear up here, we really need to get this part of his ear added back in so it's inside of our selection. So I'm going to zoom in really close to his ear so we can see what we got here. So we need this part added in. So what we can do is come back over here and get our lasso tool. And if we hold down the shift key and press and drag around the part we want to add to the selection, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to draw an outline around this and come back inside and let go, and that added it on. Now, I didn't quite get it right, so I'm going to do that, add a little bit more. I'm trying to stay just inside. the edge of the subject. Now, up here around his hair, this is going to be a problem because we want this selection to be inside the edge of the person. The reason is if we, if it stays on the outside edge here where we have a few pixels of, of a light color, we get this thing called the halo or the glow effect and you can tell that the, that the person's been cut out, which we do not want. So some of this we could edit out with our mask later, but if our image is looking this way all over, if we're getting a little, if it didn't cut right in to the inside of our uh, uh, subject, then we're gonna need to tell this selection to contract just a little bit. So I'm checking the edges here. Looks like it's mainly just up there around his head that we're going to have the glow effect on the edge. Looks like everything else is okay. This area here between his uh, belt and his arm, we're going to actually mask that out. We're going to hide it later. Um, this edge we actually need to include that little shadow pocket right there, so I'm going to get the lasso tool and include that in my selection. Again, these are just little things we can touch up. As a matter of fact, I could go ahead and add this to our selection. Actually, I'm going to subtract it from our selection. That's holding down the Option key instead of the Shift key. So I'm keeping my selection turned on and I'm editing it, taking away and adding in what I want to keep. So if I want to add something, the plus symbol shows up when I hold down the Shift key. And if I want to subtract something, I hold down the Option key and I get a minus symbol and that takes it away. So I'm adding and subtracting right now while I'm looking up close here. If I can do this now, it saves me a lot of time later. I don't have to go back and do a lot of editing with a mask because it's already done right now. Here's another little pocket I'm going to subtract around his chin. I need to add his glasses in here. I'm going to go ahead and work on this hairline. I'm going to subtract that. Hit the Option key. All right, I think that's good to go. Well, let me get his collar here. We're going to add that in with the 
shift key held down. All right, that selection looks good. Now we're going to move him over to our poster. So get your move tool, put it right in the center of the selection that's been turned on, and all the pixels from this picture that are inside of this marquee selection are going to be moved over here. So I'm going to press and drag and let my other picture pop up. And when I touch it and let go, it adds it into my picture. So that's part three of how to make an iPod poster. Next I'll show you how to apply a mask, enlarge the picture, desaturate, and blend, and blend.